The number one threat as it stands for business travel, whether it be domestic or international, relates to big data. And this is big data as it's available commercially, publicly, in government space, on destination services, travellers, company content, change management, pricing, routes. And increasingly, this data is being compounded exponentially. So it's not only a problem for the organisations who are seeking to harness and manage their own data as it relates to the individual, but those service providers. We're looking at GDS systems, the global data systems, which are still very old and outdated interfaces. Uh, the relationship between service providers is fragmenting the travel process so therefore more of the providers are capturing and collating and and managing this data how do individuals get access to this how do organizations get ac access to this how do organizations contextualize and make the information more relevant to the individual and this goes just beyond the itinerary it's difficult enough and for any traveler who's experienced an incorrect seat placement or an incorrect meal or an incomplete hotel booking or a vehicle that didn't turn up upon booking. This information is only becoming more problematic as it stands within developed countries. The concept and process of data management is not universal across emerging markets. So therefore, what is a well-developed and potentially robust or, or the perception of a complete system of big data management does not apply for areas outside of the organisation where most travellers are going to. So the reality is the quality of this data, the application, the consideration that it is used for the, both the individual as well as the organisation is a major problem for 2013. The problem is far from solved. The problem is far from uh, completely understood. And as it relates to the travel management space, it presents a significant threat and risk for all of those who are trying to utilise both empirical data who are developing risk mitigation strategies or who are just simply seeking to better understand the demographic and the composition of their travellers and their exposure to other environmental threats and hazards. So this information as a business intelligence process represents the most significant concern, therefore a threat and hazard for all businesses over the course of 2013. This is likely to continue for at least the next 12 to 18 months or it's likely to be further exacerbated by greater introduction of data, greater introduction of service providers, greater integration issues. So the number one threat and hazard for the majority of business travellers for 2013 relates to the specifics of big data.